So, I got my senior letter, and I already opened it, I already read everything. It's just, I would rather share it with you, and I already know what you're thinking, like, we don't care that you're a senior, we don't care that you're graduating, why do we need to care about your personal life? But, there's actually, it has a lot to do with the furry fandom. And if, I know that I make fun of people who are like, Furry pride, oh my god, I love this fandom so much, it's my family. Everything's so perfect here. Um, just to let you know, that's exactly how I used to act. That's why I treat it as a phase, because it was a phase for me. But some people, it just isn't a phase. But, um, this is my ninth grade year, and... I don't know why I put my name tag in here. There, the, like, the first week of school, we had to make a name tag. Like, for our desk or something? I have no... Oh yeah, we had to put it on the wall. I took it down from the wall and put it in here. And if you if you don't know my name my name my name's Sarah with an H because I'm cool. In the year 2013. Oh, this is 14. Okay, so I wrote this on May the 21st, 2014. So I started in 2013 as a freshman, now it's 2014. Okay. The music that I listened to was asking Alexandria dubstep and vocaloid shut up i hate asking alexandria but i love danny warsnop i love him so much he is such a good vocalist his wife is beautiful he's a country singer now actually since he quit the band he's he's back he he decided to come back but i don't like asking Alexandria. I only like Stand Up and Scream. That is the only album. And Reckless and Relentless. But those are the two albums that I listened to in middle school. So it kind of carried over, you know? And uh, Dubstep. It's okay. I mean, I, 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 just, I discovered Dubstep in 2014. I've never heard of it since then. So I discovered, like, all the artists. And I was like, ho, oh, oh. ho. A genre I've never heard before. Cool. I got really obsessed with it. And Vocaloid, that hasn't changed. That, that hasn't changed whatsoever. Um, things that I were- that I was afraid of. Um, I was afraid of the crowd because we have over 800 people in just my class, not counting the three other grades that were above me. We have a lot of people in our school. It is the size of a college campus. It got really congested in the hallway, so I was really scared of that. I was not used to that. I was in a really small middle school before going to this one. And the unknown. I don't know what I meant by the unknown. I guess people I don't know, because in my middle school, I knew everyone. Everyone knew me. Then I got to high school, and I was like... Um, inside jokes was hue. It was an H-U-E. It, that, that you're supposed to say hue, but that was like a stupid meme. Don't worry about it. My favorite is food, and it's literally just like just food, and that's still me. I'm still like that. Hotties, no one. Hotties, nobody. <laughs> Highs and lows of ninth grade. Low, work. Highs, friends. So I mean, all the bullying went away from middle school. No one bothered me anymore. I had a plenty of friends and everything was just so happy and jolly in ninth grade. That's what I remember. It was amazing. Um, the movies that were like really popular and like everyone was talking about them was Frozen and Godzilla. Hate both of them. Actually, actually, I, I kind of enjoyed Frozen, but it's just I can never watch it again because how popular it got. Um, sports, extracurricular, none. I've never been into sports. I've only been in dance, in a dance class once last year. And the only thing I could do is a Russian high kicks and splits, but only my left split, not my right split, only my left. Goals, personal and academic goals. 
and the only goal I put was the ultimate cosplay. Um, must have gadgets was Neroware. If you don't know what Neroware is, it is... <sighs> they have these things called Nekomimis, and like a year later, during that year, they came out with like a tail that can read your mind too, so you can wear the tail and the ears, and they connect together, and they move together. I have the ears, they're okay. It was probably the stupidest $90 that I've ever spent in my life. Um, parties, social events, none. Um, so yeah, the letter. I'm gonna read the letter. May 30th, 2014. Dear me. <laughs> so, dear me, this letter feels awkward just writing it, but I'll tell you about what's going on. Well, right now, I'm just trying to take up space for this letter so I don't fail. <laughs> also, this is my second letter because I really don't know what to say about you. Me? I? Anyways, you're currently in a relationship with Jared. I have his full name, but I'm not going to say his full name for censor censorship reasons. And if you're still with him, congrats. That's impressive. If we, if we broke it off, then that's still kind of impressive. You know, I really thought it would work. Oh well. For cosplay. For cosplay, you're really obsessed with fursuits at the moment. In fact, you had a nightmare last night of not turning the pattern over when tracing and ran out of material. But hopefully by now, I have a fursuit. Don't know what to do with it, but it's cool to have one, right? <laughs> I love myself. <laughs> Just a reminder, stay in your fandoms. Also, remember that little trip to Japan you were planning to do with Carlin? Well, do it. Yeah, yeah, me, let's do it. With what money? I can't go to Japan. I am broke. Uh, so, this letter is pretty long now, sorta. Still need a little more to go, so I'll just name a few songs to take up space. Nice the Singing Dog. Dubstep. Uh, that's it. Whoops. Best of luck me. Paw print. I put a paw print. <laughs> the end of it. Now, I don't know about you, but if you don't know who Nice the Singing Dog is, he's a green husky. I discovered him, him on SoundCloud because I used to use SoundCloud a lot and I, I loved it. I just, he's not the best singer and he's not the best actor and his voice is sort of obnoxious but like the beat, I gotta admit, it's kind of catchy. It was fun. And I have to mention that at that age I was really obsessed with dancing. I loved dancing. So yeah, it's, I guess that's why I liked it. At this age, I was a very, very furry pride person. Um, I also joined Vine around this time. I have a lot of Vines of me sticking up for the fandom. I can insert them. Really great. Kill yourself, you're a furry. Disgusting. You can't even keep up with a bitch like me! Um, I'm not that way anymore. With the fandom, you know, it's okay. This fandom's great. And as much as I want to quit sometimes with my um, my suits, I always feel like I want to quit. It is really stressful. It's really hard to want to keep going and you know all of that jazz, but it's I can't. I just I just can't because right when I'm almost done with all my slots, there's just more orders and it's just really hard to say no, especially when you know that when you're finished with that, the, the praise, the praise that you get for your work is, I, I really appreciate. I really love it. So it's really hard to leave when there's that, and especially since before you even came into the community, you didn't get any of that for any of the creative work you did. 
so it's kind of hard. I'm playing with bobby pins, that's why I keep looking down. I got really emotional the first time that I read that. Oh, and with my ex, or with Jared, oh, I broke up with him then uh, nine months ago. So we've been together since 2013 all the way to 2016 and then we broke up and we were like I think two weeks away until it was our anniversary for official four years but I broke up with him because he got really difficult and he kind of isolated me away from my friends. I couldn't go anywhere else on the weekend without him knowing or being with me so I was just like I've, I've had enough of this I'm leaving and you all know who my new boyfriend is you've seen, he, he's been on my channel twice now and he's everywhere on my snapchat and on my Instagram so he's a lot more wonderful I can actually go do things without him wondering where I am and accusing me of doing things that I didn't do. So that's amazing and wonderful and I feel free. It is just a healthy relationship. We are having a very healthy relationship. That's it. <laughs> I keep wiping my nose. My nose is running. I don't know why. Okay. Bye.